Welcome to ACO Chess. Today we're going to cover a, an attack on the king which is stuck in the center or attacking the king in the center. It's a very important concept and we'll look at various cases because you need to see different examples so that you recognize certain patterns which exist here. This used to be a very difficult concept for me and again it's something that I, I'm constantly learning more about. This position is a very good example of um, of what what to do and how to conduct this sort of attack. If you look at the position, you'll notice that um, white has sacrificed a pawn. One, two, three, four, five. And black has got one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's a pawn up. And for this pawn, the price he said to pay is that he's a bit behind in development. In fact, he's quite a lot behind in development. And this is a very critical position. How you know that it's a critical position is um, it's just a move away from castling and maybe. But this castling doesn't look safe. But you can see also the way the pieces are piled up. Again, with more examples and more situations that you look at, you learn to, to recognize a... Um, critical moments. Now, this being a critical moment, maybe pause the video and see if you can identify what would be the correct idea because it's a bit extraordinary, the idea. I'm assuming you have. White played the move uh, knight to, no, not there, knight to e5. Which is amazing because your first natural response is to take on e5. But after bishop b5, which pins the, the queen against the king here. Yeah. If he takes, there will be rook to d8 mate. So this is not what black wants to do. And you can't really ignore this threat. You might as well resign. So after knight e5. Unfortunately, um, black cannot cannot take the knight, so he has to play something like queen c7. And after queen c7, we've got um, the move knight takes f7. The reason why white can do this is if you look at his pieces, the number of pieces that are in on this attack is is a lot. So he can afford to give up material because he's figured that most of black pieces are not involved in the game. So it's almost like he's playing with a few extra pieces. So here, you can't really, the main move or the game, the move which was played in the game was the king took the knight. You can't really ignore and say, you know what, I'm going to cast, so I don't want to get involved in this because, I mean, one, you are just a piece, um, a, a pawn down or maybe it's equal but much more important is that there is this attack which starts with queen check and after king takes knight to f6 is mate very nice mate so you can't really ignore um, if let's say for instance queen takes with check you play a uh, king takes this could be even be disastrous after knight takes Knight check, sorry. There's this mate. You can even, even if you take with the bishop still. So bishop g6 would still be mate. So you can't really do this either. So going back. So we know that you can't ignore. So you have to take. And now you have a a challenge white plays check okay so here these two moves he could go here on g8 or he could go on e8 let's start with g8 and after knight takes on c5 he's got two pieces which can take let's say queen takes um, white has got bishop here attacking the rook and after knight c6 
uh, we have bishop takes sorry uh, sorry bishop takes queen takes and queen f4 with a deadly attack if instead he takes knight here then queen f2 threatening check here and mate is decisive so he can't really go to g8 after this check he has to go to to g8 e8 so now check another nice move and now let's say bishop here he's got this check finally and after g6 queen takes g6 there's no way of avoiding mate after pawn takes and bishop takes and we've got checkmate as you can see once a king is stuck in the center and um, you need to open up the position as quickly as you can and use all your force to attack and deliver mate. Thank you.